Yeah, so if you'd seen the, um, the video I was doing uh, last week, I was working on a couple of big paintings. These are not actually the same ones, although they're kind of going in the same direction. Um, these are on canvas. Um, a couple of paintings I've had in the studio really for, I don't know, a couple of months, a few months. Um, and they've just been going around in circles a bit and I've been focusing a lot on doing smaller work so you know I don't really feel that they've kind of gone anywhere and I was looking at the uh, kind of leafy sort of paintings I was thinking of trying to do and I thought well actually with a little bit of a push in a slightly different direction you know maybe these could end up um, you know going in that sort of uh, same sort of way um, as well so yeah I just uh, thought I'd have a little play around with them I've actually started putting a little bit on already but um, yeah, I'll show you what I was doing and uh, yeah, see where they get to. Okay. So this really is um, you know, one of the nice things about having several different paintings on the go. Um, you know, I like to work in a sort of series. And uh, you know, I had these, um, you know, these two paintings and I was working on the other ones as well. The, you know, the ones that were like a meter square on board. And I was just looking at these and thinking, hey, you know, maybe I can, do something with those as well. Um, and I'll talk about different ways about making different types of marks on the surface. And I like the idea of the sort of leaves floating around on the on the river. And like I said, I've done a few of those sorts of paintings in the past. So um, you know, it's a really nice. Um, it's quite a you know, it's a nice image. But I, you know, I don't want it to be the same as the ones I've done before. So you know, I'm just having a play at the moment, and they do look quite a bit different at the moment. So. Uh, Obviously, I'm gonna to have to see where they get to, but um, we shall see. But I, I think the ones I was doing last week, I was making the marks on the um, the sort of leaf marks by um, using a a mask. Uh, yeah, a mask with a hole in it. So, and then just sort of putting some spray paint through to make a kind of leafy sort of mark. That was quite nice and I might do a bit of that on these as well but um, the way I've done it in the past is I've made little print blocks and this is actually um, a little print block that I made and it was I think it was a leaf <laughs> it was a leaf originally which I stuck onto a piece of cardboard and then I've mounted that onto a little wood block so I made a little um, like a little printing block and I've just got some um, some white acrylic and I'm kind of using that to print onto the surface now what I've done in the past is I've built up the surface like this and then after it's dried off a little bit, the, uh, these leaf marks have dried off, need a bit more paint. Um, I'm actually using acrylic primer, it takes the, uh, it takes the next level of paint quite nicely um, and it's quite a dry paint, uh, I tend to find sometimes acrylic paint can be a bit glossy. Um, so it can be nice for some things, but I like I like the primer as well. And you know, it's acrylic, so um, it all works together. Um, yes, yeah, so I wouldn't want these these leaf shapes to be just printed on like this and left. I never do that. I never do things like just put it on and leave it, and that's it. Um, I like to uh, you know put them on and then work over them, and then I might bring some of them back, and you know if they get a bit lost, and then. Uh, yeah, just go backwards and forwards, uh, working over them, putting them back. And eventually, what happens is you know, some of them get lost completely, and um, some of them can be seen in the final painting. And I quite, I quite like that. I quite that idea of um, layering, putting things on, losing them back into the surface, layering them again on top. Because that's you know that's what happens in the real world, isn't it? It's like um, you know, I know I've said this before, and it all seems a little bit pretentious, but uh, you know, it's a little bit like how the actual landscape is made. You know, uh, things get laid down, and and then they get eroded back, and then they come back again, and it's kind of like a little cycle that goes on. So you know, it's quite a nice thing. This is quite a sort of therapeutic way of working as well. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit blue peter at the moment, but uh, you know, that's okay. I don't think they end up looking like that. <laughs> but I think it's important, I might put some more on this one as well actually. I think it's important when you're painting to um, try lots of different ways of making marks on the surface. And uh, you know, I think 
you know, I don't think this is a shortcut in any way. I, I think it's. Um, I don't think it's any less uh, genuine than um, you know. If I were to try and draw each of these leaves individually, um, I think that would actually be less interesting, less convincing as a as a way of putting this on, as a way of making these shapes. You know, this is a. It's like a, it's one to one, you know, this is the actual size of an actual leaf. So, you know, this painting is, is kind of like, it's not zoomed in, it's not, um, you can see from a distance, you know, it's as if I was standing this far away from the river, looking down into a river and these leaves are here. So it's kind of like uh, scale, <laughs> the scale of the image is, is kind of life size. You know, it's not a, um, it's not a picture that's been, zoomed in and uh, scaled up or scaled down this is kind of like one to one I, I quite like that you know then um, you know when the painting's finished and you know you're looking at it um, you can imagine yourself actually looking at the real landscape as if you were looking at the real landscape so the painting is a sort of proxy for the real landscape it isn't um, and I think this is actually quite an important distinction um, it isn't a picture of the landscape, it's a painting about the landscape. And I think those are quite different things. Um, and that's not, not saying that one is better than the other. Um, just really felt like that needed to come out. Um, you know, a picture of a landscape is not less uh, in any way than a painting about the landscape it's just the way that I like to do it and I think that's all you can do really you just do the paintings that um, that make you happy make the paintings that you want to see I mean I think that's why anyone would, would do painting I think that's why anyone would paint is because you know you're trying to make um, trying to make something that I would like to see <laughs> uh, you know, if I went into a gallery or in someone's house or someone's studio, I saw a painting. You know, I want I want to see paintings that you know that are, look a bit like this. You know, that's the sort of thing that I like. I, I like um, work that's full of texture and uh, layering and energy and interest, and it's a little bit ambiguous. Uh, I think that's. Um, I think that's quite an important thing to have ambiguity in your work. Uh, I don't want to be telling a story or sort of laying everything out and saying this is exactly what's going on. I, you know, I want um, you know when it's finished, I want someone to be looking at it and sort of wondering a little bit what they're looking at, making some sense of it for themselves. Uh, Because then I think it has an enduring quality then. Um, you know, I think paintings that are like that, paintings that um, are a little mysterious and not telling the whole story, leaving, you know, leaving something for the viewer to decide for themselves. I think they have more of an enduring quality um, because you see different things in them each day or each time you come to it, you see different things. You know, I hope that doesn't come across as being too pompous, but you know, it's just uh, it's just the sort of things I like to think about when I'm painting. Right, there's probably enough of those leaves, so um, just for now, I'll probably get another layer of them going on. They're probably not quite dry enough, but uh, I'm just straighten that up a little bit. Um, yeah, so being on on there, this is just some. Um, it's like a dark green paint that I've mixed up into this tub. Could probably do with a little bit more uh, drying time actually, because I'd like to work over the leaves, but and so I can knock them back a little bit into the surface so they're not quite so raw sitting on the sitting on the surface like this. Start working around them a little bit. 
some of this dark, kind of more shadowy uh, marks going on, letting the paint drip and run a little bit. I think sometimes that can be quite nice if the paint starts to do things which is slightly out of control. It's on there. It's kind of slightly some of this lighter stuff over the it's a bit of spray paint under there. I'm gonna knock it back a little bit. It's, again it's a little bit too um, raw. I like the thing to feel a little bit more um, subtle. Knock some of these rips back. It's just a little bit of um, white acrylic really on this brush on this roller. That's kind of starting to, some of these uh, drips are starting to feel like they're slightly underneath the surface. I can still see them, um, which is quite nice. This uh, blue stuff here is all a bit too, too much, might knock it back a little bit. There's me, yeah. Spray, handy spray bottle. And let some of that white run down. Knock the uh, blue back a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to keep too many of those drips. There's too many drips in a lot of this actually. I don't want it to be too drippy. But you know, this is very much a mid sort of stage, I guess, um, for these paintings. I mean, the, the, the idea of the kind of dark, shadowy water with the leaves kind of floating over the surface and the more lighter, more reflective stuff that's it's lighter part of the water. It's kind of idea of the sky reflecting in the, in the river. Again, I don't really need them to be taken too literally in any way. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to make a picture of that, if you see what I mean. It's much more about trying to find those, you know, get a bit of a sense of those things that I'm talking about, really. Turn the paint on a bit. Yeah, again, it's really good to have, um, you know, a couple of paintings, um, you know, I mean, I'm lucky to have enough space to put two big paintings up like this side by side. Um, but it's really good to have, you know, work in a kind of series like this um, so that I can sort of do things on both of them, carry the ideas across. Because funny enough, I think earlier on this one over here was looking a little more resolved than this one and now it's gone and gone back the other way where I'm feeling that this one's kind of more resolved than this one. The, I quite like this sort of composition that's starting to emerge. Um, on this one, this one uh, over this side on the right here just feels a little bit too horizontal. There's just kind of bit here and a bit here. So I need to do something down here that's a little bit more interesting. So, you know, it's good to have, I mean, it's one of those things that's really good to have these um, more than one painting on the go. You know, if it's a big ones or little ones, it doesn't really matter. It's always good to have more than more than one. So if you're just uh, you know you're just working on one painting, then you've got to kind of get everything. Everything's got to work on that one painting. There's a lot of kind of preciousness, and uh, um, you know everything has to happen on this painting. And then because I've got two, I can sort of just play the ideas across each other and uh, and see where they go. And uh, you know, often they just get resolved in uh, at different rates. So um, yeah, I'll keep playing around with these. I might. Um, I do like this uh, kind of slightly orangey spray paint. Sorry about that. Mixed up a little bit. This is more of a rusty colour, I think this one is like that rusty, rusty orange, which is really nice. I just kind of 
put some little accents of those colours in. I'll probably have to do a bit of this and then step back and let the spray paint settle. I don't want to be breathing it in. Yeah, again, all about uh, mark making finding different ways to make marks with different tools. It's just another layer. Um, still don't know exactly where they're going to go. Well, I have to say, you know, at the moment, in general, the composition, I'll just step back from it a little bit. In general, the kind of composition of this one is um, starting to work. Um, but I might turn it around in a minute and uh, do it for you now see what I think that's not necessarily what I'm gonna do but it's always good to turn things around and then you get a different sense of where they're going and how it's all hanging together yeah I'm gonna leave it um, up this way for now because I don't want all those drips to go sideways because I think that's just gonna look a bit weird so uh, yeah just another layer um, process backwards and forwards um, keep it playful, keep it energetic and uh, not worry about where it's going to go um, because you know my favourite paintings that I've ever done are ones where I had no idea what they were going to look like when I started them. I had a direction but I didn't have a, a, a big plan for that final image so uh, um, you know let them resolve themselves over a course of time and uh, then I find that they have a much more natural composition and uh, are stronger for it so anyway i hope you found that helpful i'm going to keep going i'll um, try and do another video in a little bit like this um next time and i'll see you soon thanks a lot